A Redskins legend is under fire tonight for what he called another football legend, former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman. Dexter Manley is who we're talking about here. Uh, he's now apologizing for spouting a gay slur at Aikman, who was the game analyst during yesterday's Redskins game. Manley made the controversial comment this morning during an appearance on our news partner WTOP and Richard Reeves is here with us now with what Manley said. Rich? Well, Leon, this story is exploding on Twitter. Dexter Manley has always been known as flamboyant and outspoken spoken, not afraid to speak his mind. But today he shocked WTOP listeners and staffers with his comments. Sunday's Redskins game against Denver was admittedly not their finest hour. And the Broncos, here they come. You know, I mean, all of a sudden they start to execute. They're picking up first down. But when game analyst Troy Aikman was called a gay slur by former skin star Dexter Madley on WTOP, it unleashed a social media firestorm. We were shocked. We, we were amazed at this comment. It happened during an exchange Monday between Madley as a guest commentator and two of the station's anchors. I think Troy was a Hello. Well. We don't want to go there. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Now, you want okay. to apologize to him? No. You don't. I, I, I'll just say I take that back. Okay. okay. <laughs> After further urging by the anchors, Manley did apologize but didn't retract his statement. WTOP does not condone comments like that in any way, and we apologize if, uh, uh, for anyone who was offended by, by his comments. Fans call the slur inappropriate and wrong. I think you should never say anything like that. That's my opinion. Troy Aikman, I'm sure he's a good guy. and. For Dexter to say that, he probably just wasn't thinking. Late today in a brief phone conversation, Manley told us, quote, I put my foot in my mouth and I greatly, deeply apologize. Now, earlier in that on-air conversation, after forgetting Kyle Shanahan's name, Manley mentioned his 2006 brain surgery, which at the time left him disoriented. The WTOP general manager says in the past, Manley has been outspoken, but only in a fun way, not offensive. The station says it will no longer have Manley on their air. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. Wow.